Yo, 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 my name is Day of Period, and here's how I remade the beat to Woke Up Like This by Playboy Cardi, originally produced by Pierre Bourne. So, let us get into it. The first thing I did was recreate this main lead sound. I remade this sound in Serum, and here's what it sounds like with no effects. So for the main part of our sound, we have just a saw wave with three voices in unison and our detune turned down to around 0.2. Just to give us some nice width, and then we are also running it through a low pass filter. You'll see this low pass filter has a pretty high resonance, which gives it that kind of vocally sound. Here's without that filter. You'll also notice our volume envelope has around 65 milliseconds of attack, kind of causing our sound to fade in. Then a little bit of release causing our sound to not immediately cut off when we stop playing it. Also we have our velocity mapped to the level of our sound, so if we change the velocity of our notes in the piano roll, it'll be quieter, the softer the velocity is, and louder if we have a higher velocity. Now let's get into the effects. I am first running it through some tube distortion to kind of give it some more body. Not super high drive. Then we are running it through a multi-band compressor, which kind of brings everything forward and cleans up everything quite nicely. Reintroduces some high frequencies we are losing with that low pass filter. And then we are also running it through a flange. That's where you start to get the movement of that sound that you hear in the original. Next, we are running it through an EQ, just boosting our high frequencies a little bit, just to make it a little sharper. And then we're running it through another low pass filter with our resonance once again cranked up pretty high to recreate that kind of plasticky vocally sound. And our cutoff around 4,000 hertz. Now let's move on to our mixer effects. First thing we are doing is running it through another flanger, this uh, Fruity Flanges, with our mix around 25%. Then we are going into OTT, have it around 22%, some nice multiband compression, boosting our highs a little bit and cutting the mids a little and then leaving the lows alone. Again, kind of just pulling this out forward, making it nice and rounded off. Finally, we are running it through an EQ. Just did some uh, nice frequency shaping in here, boosted our highs a bit, cut a yucky frequency around 800 hertz here, and then boosted around 282, just to kind of increase the body of the sound. And that is our lead. The next sound introduced is this beep sound. Again, I made this in Serum. Here's what that sounds like. And here is with no effects. Nothing super crazy going on. We mainly just have two sine waves um, and we are FMing our first one from the second one. As you'll see as we turn this up, it introduces more like higher harmonics and makes it a slightly more noticeable sound. Then for our volume envelope, we just have a little bit of attack and then just a basic pluck shape. Now let's talk about our effects. First thing we got going on is an EQ, cutting some low frequencies and boosting our high end. Then we just have a really basic delay, barely even noticeable, and a reverb just for some atmosphere. For our mixer effects, we just have an EQ, boosting around here, just to give some more high end, and then a reverb, just for some more atmosphere. And that is our beep. Our final melodic element is this triangle pluck. Again, I made this in Serum. Here's what that sounds like. And here's with no effects. Again, a super simple sound. We really just have um, two triangle waves. This one is up an octave and this one is at our normal octave. High frequency and low frequency. And then we are using our LFO one to modulate the fine pitch, essentially causing our sound to go back and forth really fast. You'll see if I turn this up, it will become much more noticeable. Just fine tuning that in till it, it adds a wobbliness, but it's not too much. We also have seven voices of unison on both of our plucks to kind of make them wider. 
And then we also have a, just a basic pluck shape on our envelope one. It's a little bit of attack, slow decay, and then quite a bit of release so it fades out quite slowly and gradually. Now for our effects, we just have some basic soft clipping, just to give it some nice saturation, and then another EQ, cutting our lows and boosting our highs. Then some chorus for some additional width. Then a reverb for just atmosphere. Our sound is also set to mono and legato, as you'll see down here, and it causes a nice glide between our notes. Then for our mixer effects, nothing super crazy, just another OTT on 20%, cutting our mids and our lows, and then leaving our highs alone. And that is all our melodic elements. Next, we have our 808. Nothing super crazy, just a very basic Zay 808. One of the classics, can't go wrong with it. And then we're running that through a sausage fattener, which is a very, very nice saturation plugin. Highly, highly recommend for you uh, producers out there who want your 808s to be thicker. Here's with no sausage fattener. Let's see, crank up that fatness and the color. Really just makes it nice and fat. That's why they call it sausage fattener. Then we have our final element, our drums. Nothing super crazy, we just have this wavy hi-hat, which I tweaked the pitch of a little bit and then made it fade out a little bit. And then this anything clap. I believe the actual clap in the original is a Luger slap clap, someone was saying, but this was pretty close. I thought it sounded good enough. Then I sent our hi-hat and our clap to the mixer and sent them to a drum bus, where I'm running them through this Groovy Glue drum preset in Pro C2, which is a very good drum compression preset, and then this Drum Puncher Radiator preset with the mix at 100%, which is just introducing some nice saturation for our drums. And that's it. As always, if you want any of the presets, the sounds, or the project file from this remake, they are available on my Patreon for a very low amount of money, uh, along with all of the other project files from my over 150 remakes. I try to make it a very good affordable deal for everyone. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully this was helpful and interesting, and I will see you in a couple days. Peace.